Hey y'all, I'm trying something a little different with this video. As you can see, since we're on the theme of avatars and such, I wanted to show you exactly what it is you could create. I have some super exciting news for those of you who use mixed reality for their content creation, specifically for those of you who use avatars or are interested in trying them, but don't know how to create your own avatar or don't have the time. Liv has started a collaboration with the company Wolf3D to help you make a mixed reality avatar in the fastest way I've seen yet. The best part about these avatars is that they pretty much work straight out of the box, so to speak. They come ready to be rigged for full body tracking if you have the Vive trackers. They have finger and eye tracking and lip syncing that actually looks pretty good. I've been very impressed with what I've seen so far. I can also appreciate the more realistic look to these avatars. While the Vroid anime look is fine, if you're looking for something a little bit more realistic or that may blend in with your games a bit better, this also might be something that could benefit you. This video will show you the really easy steps to creating your own avatar, but not necessarily how to set it up with Liv. It assumes that you already know what Liv is and have worked with avatars before, but if you haven't and you're interested in learning more, I did make a video in which you can find up above on how to find your avatar in Liv, how to tweak it, and how to be able to get it working for your streams or your content. As a disclaimer, this feature is still very new, as in just announced about a week ago, so they are planning on tweaking it more, and actually by the time this video is released, there should have been some updates already. With that being said, I haven't personally come across any issues as it's super easy to use. Anyway, let's walk you through the super simple steps of making your own avatar. First, you may want to launch Live first as it'll make the process faster, but depending on your browser, when you get to the import stage, it will ask for permission to open with Live anyway. Head over to live.readyplayer.me, then click Create Avatar. Select your gender, then take a photo of yourself. This can either be a selfie taken with your webcam or you can choose to upload a photo. By taking or uploading a photo, Wolf3D uses its scanning magic to create an avatar it thinks closely resembles you. If you want to skip uploading and just make an avatar of your own, you can click continue without a photo. For fun, I decided to try uploading other non-traditional faces to see what would happen and it seems to be wise enough to realize that they are not real people. For comedy's sake, I'm a little disappointed, but on a technical standpoint, I'm kind of impressed. After your avatar has loaded up, you can change things about it such as skin tone, hair, hair color, clothing options, and much more. Clothing and customization options can be a little limited right now, but that's something Wolf3D slash Ready Player Me plans on adding more to in the future. Once you've finished, click Done, click Import to Live, then after a few seconds of waiting, you should get this message confirming that it was imported to Live. The link that it gives you separately is a way to download a GLB file, which, thanks to my friend Blochi for telling me this, it basically plays the role of a basic JPEG for 3D content. If you uploaded it to Facebook or on your website, it would show up as a 3D object. If you accidentally make multiple avatars that you want to delete, you will find that by default the models are saved in My Documents Live Avatars folder. There's going to be two files, both a 3D object file and a JSON file that have random letters and numbers, so you might have to go into Live under Avatars and memorize the first couple of letters or numbers in case you have a bunch for some reason, or you can throw the 3D file onto this website to preview it so you know what to delete. I'll also put this link in the description below. You can delete those files right out of the folder to get rid of them. I heard about this program from the new creators section of the Live Discord. It's a new role they created that you can assign to yourself in order to get early access to some Live supported games, win free keys, and more. I'll be sure to post a link to their Discord in the description below. This is probably one of the easiest tutorial videos I have. I suppose it's more of an announcement video that I just wanted to get out there because I'm so excited to see a really simple solution for people interested in trying avatars in mixed reality. I would love to see your avatar, so if you've created one or if you've made content with it, feel free to post it in the comments below. I'm also now on TikTok and back on Instagram. You'll find slightly different content on each, but I will stick with the mixed reality slash virtual reality theme and you can find me at Adam Bombadi on both. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific, and I also have a Patreon page if you'd like to support me further. I post once a week, usually VR and content creation related tutorials in blog format. Anyway, expect more avatar tutorials in the future, including stuff involving Vive trackers, so subscribe and hit that bell to stay notified when the new videos drop. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.